Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the Mind of an Terrace Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I want to talk about spiritually drowning. Yeah, drowning the soul. Now, you're probably looking at things like, what are you talking about? Listen, whatever you see in the energy realm, as far as the most less physical, the non-physical and the physical, and things that could, that's non-physical and could become physical as far as like light, sound, gas, and shit like that. All this in the energy realm. Now, as far as the energy realm, everything you see manifested in the energy realm is a creation and an imitation of what's really there to be. So any shape and form you see that you can be consciously aware of is an imitation, is an illusion. Therefore, this imitation can always transform. Can, can always reiterate you know what I'm saying it may appear from the physical realm that energy can't be destroyed or created but that's because in the industry in the in, in the energy realm it, it can't can be destroyed it can only be transformed but it actually can be created because we create energies every day same way I can sit back and create a thought and create emotions and the feelings now there's many thoughts that that we receive that's not ours many feelings and emotions that's not ours but our ability to cause friction and bounce off with it and come to our own terms and conditions what we just what we just received that developed and manifested and and that becomes our own thought and that becomes our own feelings and emotions that can be dished off in the universe and can be picked up by other people who are vibrating on the same frequency who may have the same ideas or same feelings and emotions same way you channel and receive thoughts and emotions from others and planets and stars all, all different type of beings and heavenly bodies and shit like that so now that we get that out the way you need to understand when you're looking at water water is an imitation even when you're looking at clouds gas these are imitations of what's there to be so for an example anything that you see in the conscious realm right that you're consciously aware of that's your spiritual action the the that's the ability to act on seeing from a realization, from a third eye perspective. That's your conscious level. It's not something outside of you. It's not something that everybody a part of. It's something that your brain could take action on because your brain is wired in a physical representation of what's the tool that's processing the soul, the spirit. So the, the soul and the spirit, right, they, they have an action the same way you have an action. You, see, that's an action right there. What I just consciously aware, uh, which what I just forced you to be consciously aware of an action. So that's an action physically. So resonating, the action is moving. Actually acting upon an emotion or a feeling. That means resonating. So if you feel hatred, actually jumping into it. That's the action in the soul realm. And then uh, spiritually, uh, it's what you're consciously aware of. So I can know what you're consciously aware of, and I can know your conscious, and I can know your conscious level, based upon the ideas that's on your mind, based upon your, based upon the actions that you take. So you see what I'm saying, and and, and based upon how how you perceive things. So that's that's letting me know what kind of actions your spirit is taking, what kind of frequencies your spirit is riding. You know what I'm saying? So that that's letting me know what yeah your actions your spirit is is taking. Conscious is not something like a spirit or something outside of you. So people need to understand that. Conscious is what you're consciously aware of. That deals with light. That deals with what you can see. That de so when we talk about everything we can see, shape and form, your actions, a person's actions, things of that nature, your ability to perceive the details and realize the actual actions is what your spirit is doing. You know what I'm saying? So the more you're consciously aware of, that just means the more your spirit took action to actually focus on, to actually see. So when we say water and you're um, and look at a pool, when you when you go swimming, now let's look at the physical realm, right? When you go swimming, now it could be a good time, right? You can stay up underwater for a certain a certain length of time, but you're going to have to come and get a breath of fresh air before you drown. Some people can stay up under the water longer than others. But for the most part, people go swimming because they think it's fun or it's a sense of something and things of that nature. So when we look at spiritually drowning or drowning with your soul, it's the same thing. Now, in this, in this world, before the imitation world, we're talking about the frequency vibration, the astral realm. The water is like rainbow water. It's... it's, it's the, um, it, it plays out as swimming in there is like swimming in emotions and feelings. So anytime you're in your feelings, you're in your emotions, right? You're in the water. You're in the water. Now, you can have fun, but if you're not coming up for a breath of fresh air, 
what happens here is you would drown. Now, coming up with a breath of fresh air is letting go of certain things and that feeling and that emotion, a.k.a. when you're too deep into an emotion and feeling, right, it's going to be hard to see. There's going to be no chlorine down there. So it's going to be hard to see, hard to really truly focus and open your eyes. It's going to be blurry. You know, things may not be clear. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. there's no chlorine, there's no clairvoyance. So things may not be clear. So you're only going to see things from the perspective of the wave. So if the wave pushing you this way, making you feel this way, you're only going to see things from the perspective of that feeling. If it's pushing you that, you see what I'm saying? You're not being able to see clearly on what direction that you actually need to go. So when you get too far, when you get too lost in that, here's what can happen. You can drown. Now, when you're drowning, right? and you're not coming up for a breath of fresh air, what happens is it could transform you. you could transform you. Now these two ways of tra transforming you is like this. The first way it could transform you is this where you get the sand, uh, you get these sand. Oh, we lost her. Oh, oh, we lost him. We lost them forever. They're not even the same person. You see what I'm saying? It could change you as a person. So whatever emotional feeling that you got lost in, eventually you get so lost, it end up transforming you and changing you as a person. You ever met a person who went through a bunch of emotional uh, distresses and things like, like that, and now it, dictate the, it dictates their character and their actions today. They move around the, the way how they feel. So it changes a person who get abused in life. They grow, they carry that and it transform that to the point that they may get into relationships where they are the abusive one. And every time they go to counseling, they have to say things like, oh, well, I grew up in a family of abuse, abusive relationships. My parents was in, a, my, my father used to be my mother. You end up making those as an excuse where really your own spirit just choose to experience that because that's something you have to detach from. That's not something you're supposed to succumb to. That means you got a weak spirit. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, um... That's where you get that from, those sayings from, where, um, yeah, you, you, uh, we lost, we lost her forever, or we, lo or this person has changed, or this person ain't the same person. Now you could drown yourself, and then that's that's the second level because you know you're gonna witness and manifest circumstances and situations in your life that that try to show you to, to take a breath of fresh air, but you could be so lost you could forget to take a fresh a breath of fresh air. So, Because you get so lost and get so attached to the people, places, and things and that feeling and emotion that you feel the real, you don't even see with clairvoyance what to let go, what to detach from to be light enough to come up for a breath of fresh air and to go back in if you're not clear enough to know how to swim properly, you know? But, and then the other way it can happen is you could be, and then once you don't get a breath of fresh air from that realm of reality, it'll play out as... You end up manifesting a circumstance or a situation or a person, place, or thing in your life that end up transforming you physically, a.k.a. dying. You see what I'm saying? You get so lost into this experience, this realm of reality, this emotion and feeling to the point that everything you're manifesting from that end up transforming you physically in, from an energetic point stand, standpoint. So, uh, yeah, this is where you have to be careful that you're not diving too far into your feelings. Just think about it. You could be around somebody or you could be a person that's always telling you you and your feelings. Think about all the circumstances and the situations that's that's brought about when these times happen. This is never good. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's never good. So you just have to learn how to come up for a breath of fresh air. Now, coming up for a breath of fresh air is letting go. When you let... What, what happens when you're holding on to things? It drag you down. Too much shit in your car. Your car dragged down. Too much shit on your shoulders. It drag you down. Too much water in your bucket. Rainbow water's in your bucket. It drags you down. So when you let go, the, that frequency vibration of letting go plays out from the frequency vibration energy realm. From the energy realm, it plays out in the vibrational realm, and it plays out in the highest realm, the spirit realm, the astral realm, the frequency realm. And when um, letting go physically is getting shit off of you. Letting go spiritually is getting shit off your soul, not drowning. You know what I'm saying? Coming up for a breath of fresh air. You're not keeping your spirit down to the point that you become so individualistic, so much of an individual spirit, that you become separate from everything else. And so much of an individual, you become lost into your own world. Now, if you're a big soul or a small soul, based upon how much you know how to vibrate, 
then that's going to let you know if you become a demigod or, or lord or a person who, who reign authority over others and things or a person who help others lighten up and things of that nature but for the most part that's letting you know uh, what that is if you become you got to learn how to jump rope see your spirit is the frequency vibration realm that's the astral realm uh, you see what I'm saying and the vibrations is with the rainbow waters and everybody all the spirits jump in you know what I'm saying same way how bodies jump in, jump in the fourth dimensional aspect of water which will be the physical form that you see of water the same way from a two dimensional from a three dimensional point of view your spirit jumping in the rainbow waters it's the same way your body jumping in going to the pool is doing the same thing you just have to understand each world and not not conflate them and think these worlds are the same thing no every world is separate and your spirit body is controlling the uh, is controlling the physical body. Now your the soul is nothing but an individual spirit. Your ability to uh, understand and resonate and have your own perspective of the overall travel amongst your spirit group. You see what I'm saying? But for the most part, you could be you could become so much an individual that you want to become separate. But you could become so separated, you lose the overall perspective. And when you become too much of an individual, uh, too much of an individualist, you become separate from God too. You know what I'm saying? And to the point that you become, you, you think you're your own spirit, your own guy. You think you created everything and you part of your own system and shit like that. Then things could become very chaotic. Because if you haven't, if you haven't developed your own mass, a.k.a. become a big enough source, a big enough soul by vibrating. A big enough soul is just having a lot of influence. You could be a negative or a positive person. The bigger the influence, the bigger emotions and feelings and vibrations you arouse, the more attention you get. The bigger the source you'll be. So you could be negative or positive. And then, you know, bad or good is no such thing as that. It's this expansion and contraction so this but what's good and bad for your life based upon your perspective your location which you're relating to outside of you and the influences and the people places and things and what they perceive and how y'all bounce from each other one thing could be good for you one thing could be bad for another person and vice versa because of the realm that y'all both relative and it has no choice but to play out that way but as an individual it's not like that so as an individualist once you become so separate right if you haven't developed enough vibration to become your own source you don't have enough mass to even travel effectively through the astral realm so your ass is going to be getting pulled up in all the whirlwinds and and, and all that you're going to be transforming so goddamn much that you're not even going to know who you are. So you, you're going to eventually get lost in the whole perspective and have to come back and start all over again um, eventually. Anyway, and getting lost in a perspective, that's letting your shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas, your spirit run, that's letting it scatter. How that Now, say you're in a physical body right now and you're like a person that has a scattered spirit. That's a person who, who can't... Anchor down on one thing. You're lost in thoughts. You, you're you completely lost in daydreaming. Sometimes people have to snap you back in reality and things of that nature. Your, your shapeless form is realm is too scattered. You know, a piece of you is in this constellation. A piece of you is in this constellation. You got to come back as a whole at some point. And that's having conviction. You know what I'm saying? Having having durability. Having uh, having consistency. Having, having conviction in what you want to do. And not being passive in the astral realm. Now, if you could, now it doesn't matter if you are positive or negative. You become a big enough source and become a big enough mass. You could become your own travel. Look at people like, like Saturn and shit like that. These spirits then created bodies for themselves to be in their own secluded area of life and probably love it. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, hey, yeah, you got to become a big enough mass. To, and if you ain't a big enough mass, you ain't traveling nowhere by yourself. Because you go everywhere you travel, there's going to be a bigger, a bigger body there, a, a bigger shapeless, formless, odorless, smokeless flame spirit. That then created a bigger body, a, and, and they're in a bigger world. You're always going to be traveling into bigger, so you're always going to be wrapped up and have to transform and experience that life and, and information and those rotations for thousands and thousands of years before you can even become big enough and then travel in that existence. Like you're going to be all over the place, being too much of an individual because you're not going to have no perspective from any other spirit, or you're not even going to be able to be able to bounce off any other spirits anymore to become a big enough source. You're just going to be lost and wrapped up in a whirlwind. Now, if you are your own source, then you can travel how you please. You don't need no other lights and influences and sounds for your traveling because you're already your own source. So you don't need no realm of reality. In any physical world that you create and go into, you're not going to need nothing in it. You're not going to need no food, no nothing. You're not going to care about transforming down because you're already your own mass. You already know where you're going. You're just basically learning how to create your own world to be your own massive God. But you know that take eons. Before you become a totality of a galaxy yourself and you learn how to do that with with you can't even run no business by yourself you need people supply and demand so before you become a galaxy yourself you know how long that it take being your own source creating all your own stars and shit after that 
You know, you know how long that a motherfucker take? You gonna have to find another spirit just to have sex with, in a spirit realm. To even create the rainbow waters, that that's that that'll take eons. I'm not it, now that it ain't impossible. I'm not telling you that, but what I'm saying it take eons. And who wanna do that? Who wanna be that separate from God? Cause it, that that's not gonna lead nowhere good anyway. That's not gonna lead nowhere good. You know what I'm saying? Just being your own source, and you're gonna be super lonely to the point you ain't you gonna want you gonna want to create and apply other people to your world just to just to rule over. See what I'm saying? You gonna be that lonely. So that's a whole nother video I'm getting into. But you know, when you spiritually, that's how you spiritually drown. Make taking your spirit to the pool with a bunch of other spirits, and it, because of y'all want to have fun that day, and then y'all motherfuckers going to have a, a pool party and shit like that. But a lot of y'all motherfuckers never come back up for a breath of fresh air. So a lot of y'all change. Y'all not the same people anymore. A lot of y'all motherfuckers get die because of the people, places, and things y'all keep attaching yourself to and manifesting because because you lost in a certain fit. Like right, for an example, you could be around the most the person that does not right for your life at all. But this person may make you feel certain ways and there's emotions. So you get lost in that. You're like, all right. You start making excuses to be around this person. You got your parents telling you to get the fuck away from this person. You got your people, uh, your relationship telling you to get the way fuck away from this person. You got associates. You got real close friends telling you to get the fuck away from this person. Yet, you lost into the feelings and emotions of what was actually being created from this situation. It could be, it could be something that your body think is good for you. Your spirit like, man, we don't need that. That's a habit. Right? You get lost in that. End up getting killed. See what I'm saying? So, you need to understand not the motherfucker spiritually drown yourself and remember to come up for a breath of fresh air every now and then. That means let go, detach. Know that that emotion and feeling is not something you need to attach to and you need to start creating brain mechanisms to start building brain matter and brain tissue so you can have a new brain piece in your mind that you can always go to to think about it like this. Okay, this emotion and feeling or this person, place, or thing, if they was to up and leave tomorrow, I wouldn't give a fuck. So, every day that they are there could be appreciated and it could be on the right vibrational level and you won't be attached, be attached to certain things or even create the possibility of getting lost because you have created new brain mechanisms and new mind pieces so you have new thinking patterns that you can go through and be like okay if this person was to get the fuck up and leave today I don't give a fuck because I know that just gonna leave room for another shape and form to replace that maybe even a better one and once you let the universe and God know that then that, it'd be calculating like, okay, nah, we don't need, this person is right for this person, or this person is not right, because you, you're you bouncing off higher frequency ideas, higher spirits, so you're having better conversations with yourself. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn, air, ee-hee.